there you can go okay thank you reshma ma'am and thank you swati ma'am for giving me this opportunity to present myself before esteemed teachers and educators who are shaping the future of students like me in association with eca eca aper eca aper as you all know is dedicated to nurturing the future one child at a time in line with the miss mission of eca to develop holistic programs today's presentation will delve into the capabilities of zoom canva microsoft powerpoint and how they can be harnessed to enhance the teaching experience by making it interactive structured and visually engaging having had the privilege to teach 467 educators till date i've witnessed firsthand the transformative power of these tools as i navigate through today's session there are three key ta takeaways we will walk away with firstly with zoom i aim to help you gain confidence in managing your virtual classroom from hosting live sessions to archiving them for future reference then with canva we'll dive into the world of design where i'll show you how to create visuals that not only support but amplify your teaching content and lastly with microsoft powerpoint my goal is to elevate your presentation skills integrating various multimedia elements to captivate your audience by the end of this session i hope these tools will feel like extensions of your teaching toolkit ready to be harnessed for maximum impact before we get into the tools themselves let us first understand why these tools have become so crucial in the modern teaching environment some wise man said a picture is worth a thousand words so imagine teaching a child what a, will you describe it with words like two wheels a seat a handle pedals etc no right you would just show a picture isn't it this is the power of visual learning using images diagrams and videos in our lessons can help students understand and remember information more effectively with digital tools we can add interactive elements to our presentations and study materials interactive quizzes challenge students to apply their knowledge polls gather opinions and simulations allow them to explore real world scenarios whether students are at home traveling or in school they can easily access learning resources shared by teachers students and teachers can collaborate and work together easily even outside the classroom personalized learning let students learn at their own speed with digital tools teachers can adjust lessons to fit each student style students can even revisit lessons to get better in their studies automated assessments gives quick feedback without waiting everything becomes faster and smoother which improves efficiency and thus reduces the costs i hope all of you are now sold on my idea that knowledge of using di digital tools is essential for the new era of hybrid teaching now let us explore the three digital tools that we are here to learn today let us understand our first asset zoom simply put zoom is an online tool where you can see and talk to others when you can't meet in person today you all have logged into the zoom webinar to meet me virtually and i'm sharing my screen to give you this presentation we are recording this session for future use 
you can use digital whiteboard to share notes on screen draw explanations and have group chats without needing paper or a physical school room i am excited to show you how all of this is being done let us start by creating an account i am sure some of you already have an account while others may be logged in into the session as guests if you are already set up please bear with me for a moment as i empower everyone on this webinar with their own zoom account go to the website www.zoom.us you can use any browser or google search zoom click on the blue color sign up free button you can manually provide your email set a password you would receive an activation email or you can simply log in using your existing email or facebook account ta da you are now the proud owner of a zoom account for those who do not have zoom downloaded i would highly recommend you to download and install the latest zoom client from the download center i have provided you the link here open your preferred browser and go to the zoom download center under the section labeled zoom download client for meetings click on this download button to start downloading the software once the software is downloaded you need to locate the file to start the installation process double click on the download file to start the installation process a series of on screen prompts will guide you through the installation just follow these steps and zoom will be installed on your computer in no time after installation find the zoom application icon on your desktop or in your applications folder click on it to open zoom you have now achieved full power to schedule your schedule sessions with your students it's a tongue twister sorry about that sign in into your zoom account let us schedule a class for a future date using schedule you can enter the topic of the subject that you are going to teach enter the email addresses of the students and teachers that you want to invite select the date and time when you want to schedule the session either go with default settings or customize them as per your need and then click on save voila your meeting invites have been sent and you are all set to conduct the session at the scheduled date and time your upcoming sessions are listed in the meeting section of zoom you can click on start to begin your session you may enable automatically join audio by your computer when you are joining it choose whether you want video on or off your web browser might ask you permission to open zoom application click open zoom once in the meeting you can invite participants by clicking on invite at the bottom of the screen and choosing your preferred method once you're in the meeting find the record button at the bottom click on it and the recording will begin you'll see a recording indicator at the top left to stop recording click the stop recording button once the meeting ends zoom will save the recording on your computer and open a pop up window sharing your screen while in a meeting click on share screen located at the bottom a window will pop up showing different options to share such as your entire desktop or a specific window or app select what you want to share and click share to stop sharing click on the red stop share button at the top during a meeting click on breakout rooms at the bottom choose the number of rooms you would like to create and how you would like to assign participants click create breakout rooms to start the breakout sessions click open all rooms as a host you can jump between rooms to monitor discussions 
to end breakout sessions, click close all rooms. And that wraps up our quick guide to using Zoom effectively. With these steps, you'll be able to confidently host and manage Zoom meetings. Remember, the more you use it, the more familiar it will become. Welcome to the vibrant world of Canva, a super tool for making cool designs and digital content. In a world where pictures and designs matter a lot, Canva is like a teacher's best friend. Canva is a website where you can easily make designs. It has lots of tools and ready-made designs. So even if you are not a design expert, you can make en engaging lesson slides, eye-catching posters, and various educational visuals for your classroom. Canva is simple to use. Just drag and drop. Whether it's a classroom poster, or a course syllabus, or a student certificate, Canva has ready-made designs for teachers which can be further customized to one's liking. Whether you're creating handouts for a classroom session or digital graphics for online learning, Canva seamlessly caters to both, ensuring teachers can operate in blended learning environments. With Canva, educators can make slides and videos, interactive, pre interactive questions and more ensuring that students remain engaged. Teachers can co-design content with colleagues or even work on projects with students, fostering teamwork and collective creativity. Canva's dedicated platform for educators. Canva for Education offers ready-made learning resources, tutorials, and lesson plans, allowing teachers to make the most of the platform. Many of Canva's tools and templates are available for free, ensuring that quality education isn't hindered by budget constraints. In a nutshell, Canva empowers educators to elevate their teaching material from being mere informative to being truly captivating and engaging. Making a poster on Canva. Go to www.canva.com, log in using your Google account, so this is the Canva home screen. In this you will be able to see create a design, create a design with the custom size, upload images, videos and documents. Here are some categories of designs which you can click and create. But today we'll be making a poster. So let's go and create a design. Search for a poster. A portrait poster will be best for the type of design I'm creating. So this is the Canva design menu. Let's go through all the tabs. So this is the design tab, which has all the templates and styles. This is the elements tab where you can choose shapes, graphics, videos, GIFs, and much more. This is the text tab where you can add text. You can choose fonts from here. Here you can upload images. You can draw on the poster as well as open previous projects. You can use apps that are made by Canva too. So let's create a header. As you all know that header is the top portion of the poster. I want it to be highlighted because it will have the title and a logo. So let's take a box from elements, resize it and then click somewhere else. 
it is okay if it goes beyond the margins because it will not be visible once you print it or send it to someone i would like to change the color go here change the color i want the color as turquoise blue click on it the next thing i would want to add is a logo i would want to add a logo of my youtube channel which is all spark infinite so this is the logo i'll be using copy it go back to canva and paste it anywhere on a the document then resize it and put it in a corner so that it doesn't take much space now i want to add the title of the competition since the latest event that was held in our school was teachers day this competition would be based on that so now go to text choose a font style i would like this the title would be teachers day contest alert you can just reduce the font size so this red is not matching with the blue background let me just center align it i want the color of the text to be a shade of blue let's take it as dark turquoise resize it as per your liking there are some effects that have been put onto this text the neon effect the glitch effect echo outline splice hollow lift shadow and none for this poster i would not like any effects the next thing we'll be doing is adding a subheading because this competition is supposed to be online i would want it to be through photo and video recordings let's copy a word from here click here and then paste it since the font size is small we'll enlarge it the next thing we'll be doing is changing the text through photo and video recording let's replace this with the symbol drag it decrease the font size and drop it the next thing i'll be adding is the topic a specific topic because i want it to be uh, based on the student's idea and imagination so i'll just copy a word from here paste it increase the font size and type any topic align it to the center since this is taking a lot of space i'll just move it up the next thing i'll be adding is a blackboard because teaching is related to blackboard blackboards i'll be adding a blackboard to give uh, some more details of the competition go to elements search for blackboard see all and look for the one which you like this is the one which i like i'll just resize this 
and put it here. I'm leaving space here for the footer. I'll be adding the criteria of the students that are allowed to participate. Let's go to text. I'll choose a plain text, add a heading. The next thing I want is students of grade. Please bear with me. Grade four to nine. And I'll just decrease the font size of it. Here it is. The next thing I'll be doing is changing the font. I like this font. As you can see, it has been recently used because this is one of the main fonts that I am using. Now I would want to give information about uh, the winners and the prizes and the finalist prizes. So I'll just copy some text from here and then paste it. Let's increase the font size. Changing the font. So I want the first prize to be a trophy and the finalists receiving medals. Winner gets a trophy and finalists get medals. Since this is going out of the box, I will resize it. I want it to be very bright. So I'll take light green for both. The next thing we'll be adding is categories of the competition. So let's copy it and edit. So I want the categories to be drawing sketching poem writing speech recital and lastly creative writing Let's align these to the left, like you do in Word. This is the alignment section. Click here. The next thing I'll be adding is bullet points. Go to the alignment section and add bullet points. Let's decrease the font size a bit. Drag it and drop it here. Here it is. Since it is not visible on this background, I will be changing the color. I want it to be a darker shade of green. Now it is visible. The next thing I'll be adding is certificates. So anyone who applies should get a certificate. So I'll be adding that text over here. Copy this, paste. All applicants will receive a certificate.
resize this and change the alignment to center. Align it with the blackboard to make all the text aligned. The next thing I'll be doing is changing the color to a darker version of this green. So the theme of this uh, brochure or poster is green and blue. So I'll stick to that. The next thing we'll be adding is the footer. Go to elements, go back to all and select a box. I'll be using this box to add uh, the date of the contest, how people can apply for it and when the results will be announced. Let's add that. Copy this, paste it, drag it. So I'll write it as WhatsApp to apply. Putting a random number here. The next thing I would want is last registration date. It can be 15 September because there is a few days to that. Let's just resize this. The next thing I'll be adding is results to be announced. So this is all the information I would want to add here. Let's resize it. Decrease the font a bit. Align it to the left. Since this competition is online and is it and is about teaching, I would like to add an element that will focus on that. So you can go to graphics. Choose anyone that you would like. So this is the one which I like. I'll just move it. Change the color to white. And I'll put a circle behind this image. So take it, drag it over the image, fill the area, click on it again, and then go to layer, send backward. So now it is behind the image as well as the text. So this is a poster that you can create using Canva. We'll go back to the home screen. Can I ask a question? Which yes. I think most educators might be interested in this. Uh, if you go back to the screen, I can see the stickers and I can see there's a bird or a clap. Uh, you know, the, the GIF image, if you were to call it. Yes. That. Can I add that on the poster and will it move on the poster? If you would download it as a PNG, it would not. But if you download it as a video, it will. Okay. So let's just try it. Yeah, it would be nice. I'd like to see that. 
So let's take this sticker. Resize it. Uh, okay. This one should be okay. Go to share, download. If you save it as a PNG, it would be like this. Okay. Then if you just save it as a video, it's processing the video. Yeah, that's fine. It'll take a while. But then when I share it on, say, WhatsApp or something, it will be moving, right? That It will be moving, will be yes. Moving. Okay, that's great. We'll see this once it has downloaded. So you can proceed. Yeah. You can see it here. It's a video format. I'll just share it. I hope you can see it. Yes, can. It's moving. Yes, it is. Perfect. Let's go back to Canva now. So there are some more things that you can make. I'll just show you an example of those. We'll go back to my channel. I have made an advertisement using Canva. Playlists. So here they are. This is made using a Canva template. This is the second one that I had made. Also using a Canva template. <laughs> So as per my understanding, you can even include videos. Yes. Okay, so I'll just show you how to make one. It will be easier for you guys to understand. Let's go to advertisements. Advertising video. So these are some templates. All of them are free. So let's choose one. So this is the one that I had used. First screen, second screen, third screen and fourth screen. Let's just customize this a bit. As you all must have known by now, my favorite color is blue. So let's stick to that. Change the color of the background to dark blue. You can edit the video. You can remove the video, add another video. So teaching. going to elements and teaching. So this is a video that we can use. Resize it as per your liking. It's 
since it is covering the text we'll layer it and send it backward so here it is You can do the same thing with this side. So the first page length has become longer. We'll just cut it a bit. Done. So the next thing is the slide, the second slide. Here too, you can edit the videos and change the theme. Third slide as well. So there's a box behind this text. We'll ungroup it so that it is easily editable. We'll move this up a bit. Change the color. And then move it back. Here it is. You can do the same thing here. So now let's just view it. Go to full screen. There's some background music. So this is a simple advertisement that you can make using Canva. Let's download it. Go to download MP4. You can select the number of pages that you want to download and which all pages that you want to download and download it. While it's downloading Kushal, we have a question. Uh, can you yes. use Canva? Can it be used offline? It cannot be used offline. Once you create it and uh, download it, then it can be used, correct? Yes, because it is saved on your device. Right. Does anyone have any more questions? Am I audible? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, sir, uh, can we insert a video which is from an external source or whatever, whatever is built into Canva? This is from an external source. Canva okay. uses other websites to get videos onto the software. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. So I'll just show you guys how to make a logo as well because we have some time. Search logo here. Go to templates, logos. So here are some options that you can use. Let's edit this one. So this is also a type of font. So this is a logo that has just been made. It's so easy. Now, if I would want to change the color or the theme, 
let's take this one you can change the colors of this image as well focusing on the purple theme i am randomly choosing the colors this also has some effects on it i'll just change it to purple and pink this is how you can make a logo and then edit it now let's go back to the presentation Welcome to the world of Microsoft PowerPoint, a classic tool that's changed how we teach. It's a favorite in schools because it combines words, pictures, and fun interactions. Let's see why it's so useful for teachers. PowerPoint is a part of Microsoft Office. It lets you make slides with words, pictures, videos, and more. It's easy to use. and is popular for teaching businesses and other presentations powerpoint helps teachers break big topics into clear slides you can add videos sounds animations it also works with word and excel so adding charts or documents is easy there are many designs to match your lesson's topic or mood add clickable links buttons and quizzes teachers can also draw or point out things on the slides while teaching in short powerpoint make lessons fun and memorable it's a mix of classic teaching and cool tech with powerpoint lessons stand out and stick in the students minds ms office is free online so you don't have to pay for the licensed version Now let us create an account using it. Here it is. Go to office. dot com to create an account. Click on sign in. No account. Create one. I'll just put my email. So this is a random email that I had just created. Create a password. So I just put a password. Now it will send a verification email. So open your mail. Since it is signed out, I'll use my phone. I have got my code. I'll just enter it now. It will ask for a robot verification. So I am human. Okay. 
I am not a robot that is teaching you. I am a human. So this is the interface of Microsoft 365. Here will be you will be able to see the apps that you can use. You can start a meeting. You can store information. You can use PowerPoint. You can use Excel. Create Word documents. There are some more apps that you can use. Go to home and click on create presentation. So this is how you can open the presentation. Let's go back to the presentation, the presentation that I had made. So we'll be making a presentation related to a classroom topic. I'll just open it. The presentation is loading. So this is the basic presentation that I had made. The topic of this presentation is Europe. I'll be using the text from this slide to show it. So now let's go through the interface here. You can change the font, change the font size, increase the font size, decrease the font size, bolden the letters, or make the letters slanting, underline, highlight, basically everything that you get in word and then insert images, draw. This is the design tab. So this is the most important part of the presentation. This is the designer window that we'll be using. This helps you design things related to the text, which is on the slide. This is an AI. We'll be using a template too. So I'll just choose a template. The title of this presentation would be Europe as Europe is the class topic that I would uh, want to make a presentation for. Go to insert pictures, search on web, Europe, um, I'll take this picture. Let's remove this text from underneath and let the designer do its work. Here it is. The first line, it's so easy. So the next thing we'll be adding is about Europe and an introduction. So this text is ready with me. You can find this text that I, I have used on Wikipedia. Let's add an image for this as well. You can add up to four images for the designer. Let's add this one. Insert this. We'll add some more images.
Yes. I think someone said something. It might have been by mistake. You can okay. continue. We'll just add a picture of the cars that you can see in Europe. A Fiat would be okay. Fiat and an Aston Martin. Remove this text and choose a design. This is space for another image. We'll be using this one as it only needs three images. The next thing we'll be adding is introduction to Italy as this is the country that I would be focusing on. Let's add some pictures. Rome. Building. Venice. Pisa. Let's add four. Let's remove this text. The third slide is ready. The fourth slide can be about the infrastructure that supports tourism. So I'll just Put this text here. The next thing I'll be adding is a table. So the content that I have is title, facilities and uses, which have six points. So the table should be two by seven. Two. By seven. Here you can change the lining. Facility. And their uses. If anyone has any questions, I'm opening to answering them. I'm open to answering them. I'll just add some more text. How to add video, sir? Go to insert. Here you will be able to find videos. You can upload a video or select a video on the web. Thank I'll just add some more text.
So suppose you have slides in a different presentation as well that you would want to use, but would not want to copy every single text one by one. So go to the presentation you want, select the slides. So I just selected a few slides from the previous presentation. Come back to the normal presentation and paste them. Since these slides are not matching at all, we'd go back to the design tab and click on designer. Okay. Just formatting this a bit. So here it is. You just made a presentation, but this is a very simple presentation and you would want animations to show that the text is entering the screen. The text is exiting the screen. The slide is changing and not just plain swipes. So you will have to go to each individual slide, go to transition and click on a transition. So random bars, the transition that I like, let's view it. So the text has been put into random bars. So the next thing we'll be adding is transition on the second slide. Randomly choosing some transitions. Here's one more thing that thing that I learned while making presentations for my school. So instead of this being the first line, take a picture of curtains. Let's take this one, copy the image, paste it on the slide and then cover the whole slide. It is okay if it goes out of bounds. Now let's add the transition. Trusty curtains. So all the transitions have been added. Let's just view them. This was a prestige transition. Now let's add some animations to the text. If you want them to appear or you want them to fly in, you want them to split basic zoom, you can make them spin, you can grow them, you can shrink them, you can make them transparent. So let's choose a checkerboard. You can do the same for this.
you should add the tra- animations in the order that you want them to appear so each point will have its own transition the transitions have been already added here because i had them in the previous presentation you can add transitions to text and images for this line i have taking a new slide from here the comparison slide so that you can add text as well as a point for the text so let's just view the presentation I always suggest to not keep a lot of content on the slide. You can put all the content in your script so that all the emphasis is towards you and not the presentation. So these are most of the transitions and animations. So this is the basics of making a presentation. Does anyone have any doubts or would like me to repeat? If anyone has any questions, you can post them in the chat box. Does anyone want to learn anything else in, in PowerPoint or Canva? Someone okay. has mentioned for transitions to be shown again. Yeah. So go to the slide that you want to add the transitions in. Click on the transitions tab and then add the transitions. You can do it for each and every slide. Jaya Madhuri wants me to add sound effects. So let's go to insert audio and then upload an audio from your computer. So let's just take some background music from Google Chrome. Let's download a track. We'll go back to the presentation. It is downloading at the moment. So Pushal, we have a question while it's downloading. Uh, someone has asked, is this a normal PowerPoint presentation or a newer version? The one that- this is. 
yeah, this is a newer version. It is the web version that Microsoft has launched in 2021, I think. So this is best for presentations. If you have that 2007 version, you will not be getting uh, the design ideas, nor some of the themes. So is this open for anyone and everyone to use as long as you have a Microsoft account? Is that right? Even if you don't have a Microsoft account, you can create a new one for free and you can use this without a license. Thank you. I think that will help uh, Asha ji. Thank you. Sir. Anuradha is asking if we need to tell the presentation to ask to uh, start with the first slide again. Yes, we would need to do that. You can search here, place slides from beginning. Loop. So you can loop the presentations until they are stopped. Yes, you can add a watermark in Canva. I will just show the adding of the music first and then we'll go back to Canva. So this is a slide in which I want to add music. Go to insert, audio, downloads, add the music. Just move it to the side. So when you are clicking on play, for the presentation, the arrow keys. And when you click the second arrow, this music will start autom automatically. Now let's go back to Canva. Okay, someone is asking if we can add notes. Yes, you can add notes. So go to the bottom. I'll just zoom a bit. Go to the notes tab at the bottom. I hope you can see it. Click here. Let's scroll up a bit up and then you can add notes. So when you are presenting, uh, it will open two types of the presentation. One for uh, sharing your screen and one for you to read. Zoom also has a feature of sharing a part of the window, but that is a very complex feature. So we'll go back to Canva. Uh, Kushal, before we go back to Canva, is there any more uh, questions on PowerPoint? Just so that we don't confuse the users, you know, switching between the two. Yeah. Any more questions on PowerPoint? <clears throat> Do we you will not have to link the audio as it is already on the slide. Can we play it once? Yeah. yeah. We'll just start from the beginning again. You click on one arrow and then you click on the next. It will start playing the sound. Or you can click play from here. You will have to add this sound on, sound on every slide if you want to play it on every slide. Someone wants to know how to log in. 
I I'll just log out for this. Go to sign in with a different account. Create an account. Enter your email. Here. Click on next. Since this has already been made, just enter an email. I'll Now you can just put your password and click next. You need to put some more information. It is the same how you would create any email account and the link has been shared in the chat box. Yes. Okay. I think we can go back to Canva now. Yeah. Okay, so this is Canva. I will just show you how to add the watermark. Go back to your projects. Click on the projects that you just made. Here. Take some text. So I want my watermark to be my name. Suppose I'll just rotate it. Now this is the transparency section. Click here and make it a bit transparent. So this is how you can add a watermark. And if you don't want it on the text or on the blackboard, you can left click it layer and then send it to back. So now it's behind the blackboard as well as the text. Someone wanted to wanted me to recap the Canva as well. Yeah. So you can go to home. Search for poster. So I would want an infographic poster. Create blank infographic. So here we'll be adding a header and a footer. As you all know, header is the place where you can add the title of the page. You can add the page number as well. So it's basically the top of the page. Go to elements. We'll add a shape, which will cover the top part to give emphasis on the header. It is okay. If the box goes outwards, it will not be seen once you send it or download it. Let's just change the color. Turquoise blue. Let's add a footer as well. I want it to be a darker version of the turquoise. I'll just add a logo. So I just search for AllSpark Infinite logo, my YouTube channel's logo. Just copy it. Go back. Control V, paste. Adjust the size. Drag and drop. You can adjust the header as well. I would also want to add text. So there are many fonts here. The font which I like is this. It's 
so this is a teachers day competition poster i would uh, wanted to have the title as teachers day contest so i'll just copy this and paste it here now you may be able to see that there are some effects applied i will just remove those go to effects here here are the effects lift hollow splice outline echo glitch neon so i do not want any effect then i would also change the text color to dark blue i'll align it to the center of the page the pink lines are for alignment so it has been aligned to the center this is at the middle of the page this is top center so the next thing i'll be adding is the type of competition so i want the competition to be online people can submit their entries to through photos and video recordings so you can just copy this text duplicate it and resize the text as per your liking The next thing I'll be adding is the topic. I do not want the ideas or imagination of the children to be constrained to a single topic. So I do not want a specific topic. Duplicate. Is someone saying anything? Uh, no, I think it turned on by mistake again. Okay. So next thing we'll be adding is a blackboard to emphasize on that part. Go to elements to add graphics, images, videos. Search for blackboard. See all. So this is the one which I like. There are many more options. Let's choose this one. You can change the color of the graphics as well. So here. I want it to be dark blue. The outline. The inside color to be a lighter version. The wood to be. Yellow. So, so here I'll be adding the criteria of the students that can participate in this competition. Go to text. I'll add a normal heading and then change the font later. Students from Grade four to nine. I just didn't decrease the font size. Now let's change the font. Select the whole thing. These are all the fonts that. You can use the one I like is Anton. It takes less space and it gives dynamics to the graphic that you are making. Resizing it. 
changing the color to white. The next thing we'll be adding is what the winners will get and what the finalists will get. So winners get trophy and finalists get medals. You can see that the text is very small. We'll just increase it. And put it here. And just change the font. So this is the part of the blackboard. The next thing we'll be adding is the categories of the composition. Like here I've added it as drawing, sketching, poem writing, speech recital, creative writing. I'll just copy this here. Increase the size. Here I have aligned it to the left. Alignment center, right and left. I have also added bullet points. Now I'll just change the color to purple. I also want to give certificates to all the applicants. So I'll copy this. Same process, you can either drag and drop this or copy it from another Canva design. I would want to add the details for the participation in the footer and the last date for the registration as well as when the results will be declared. So this is the text. I will just change the font. Alignment. Text size. Here it is. Some edits have to be made because Canva is online. And I'll just add a teacher because this competition is based on teachers. So here it is. A poster made using Canva. You can also make advertisements. This was a template that I used. I added a video from Canva itself. Go to elements, search for teacher, and then you can add a video as well. So just drag it and drop it.
since these videos are long, you would have to edit them. I would just edit the playback or both. If you choose a shorter video, you would not have to do this. Then you can change the. I got disconnected. Sorry about that. I hope you saw the Canva. Any more questions? I think we've reached uh, the end of our session time as yeah. well. And uh, Kushal, it was extremely informative. I, for one, even though I use PowerPoint quite a lot, there were a few things that I realized that I can do easier. So thank yeah. you for that. And uh, it's been great having you with us. Uh, I'm sure all the educators also learned a lot being with us here today. So I would just like to say thank you to the participants. Yes, for patiently spending their time yeah. on a Saturday evening. And it shows thank you for, yeah. thank you for your learn. attentive participation. I hope you found value in my session and feel inspired to apply some of the insights shared. For in-depth tutorials on today's topic, please check out my YouTube channel, AllSpark Infinite. Alternatively, you can reach out to ECA April to connect with me directly. And I think I'd be happy to say that for the people who have missed the session, uh, we should be happy to send them a link of the recorded uh, version. Um, yes post this, we will send out an email with a link so that those of you who want to revisit the concepts, you all can definitely watch the video again. Thank you so much again, Kushal. It was a pleasure Thank having you. Thank and you for having me. forward yeah. to more sessions like that. Thank you to all the participants. We'll see you again soon. Take care and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.